Some days when you wake up, you know it's just going to be a great day. Well, that's how this morning started. I woke up, the sun was shining, the birds were singing, poured myself a cup of coffee. One of the better cups of coffee that I've made. Plus, I got two boxes over here in the mail. I know you'll enjoy seeing them, so we'll open them up later in the video. But I looked at my phone and saw that I have eight items that need to be wrapped and shipped. So that's good. So we're going to go out to the eBay room and go pull those items here in a minute. But first, I'm going to finish and enjoy the rest of my coffee. Hey friends, welcome to RK Treasure Center and welcome to the eBay room. My name is Roy. Well, if you watched my last video, then you saw it was kind of a good informational and teaching video and I talked about one particular item. Well, that item just sold, so let me grab it because it's in that bin behind me. And this is what sold. This is called a Garmin Nuvi. This is an older model. It's a 265W and it's from 2009. Whenever I go to thrift shops, thrift stores, different places, I'll pick these up for a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars. I never pay any more than that. And a lot of times they'll come with their cord and the mounting bracket. So that's a really good find. And a lot of times, most eBay sellers will pass these up and never think about it twice. When I'll pick these up all day long. The reason being is they're inexpensive. Like I said, you only pay 25, 50 cents a dollar for them and they'll turn around and make some money. The older ones I sell for a little bit less. The newer ones I sell for more and I sell the cord separately and I sell the bracket separately. That way I get the maximum amount of value. In that last video, I said I'd sell this for $14, this being an older model, and I'd sell the cord and everything separately. And a little hint on that is keep the cords because you always come across these are pretty much almost all universal type cords. Some of them are a little different. This one sold for $14. Buy this for 50 cents and turn around and sell it for $14. You made a pretty good profit. So the next item I sold is a really good one. It's an item I picked up a whole bunch of them, so it's only one listing for a bunch of items. And pull it out it's right here in the m5 bin these sold this is a pair of mechanics gloves they're the impact model they've got rubber along the fingertips so they're great for mechanics or anybody that needs to protect their gloves protect their gloves protect their fingers when they're out working now i picked up all of them the ones i had were all brown this is the only black pair i had so i listed them all up they're selling pretty quickly but this pair right here sold for 22 dollars I sold an item that I wasn't sure that I was going to sell when I first saw it. I figured it would be a good item, but it weighed a lot. And that's this right here. This is a Quest Club Level Bocce Ball Set. And these are 90 millimeter resin balls. And there are eight of them inside there, red and blue. And they are heavy. This box right here probably weighs about 20 pounds. So it's going to get shipped out UPS. But when I saw it, it was only $3. So I went ahead and picked it up and sold this for $40. So here's a cute little polar bear teddy bear. Well, he's not so little, but he's medium size. Still has the tag from, two, uh, from Toys R Us. And I picked him up at a thrift shop and just knew that I couldn't pass him up because I knew he'd sell and make some money. So this cute little plush sold for $20. So I sold this item. This is something I've had for quite a while, actually, probably about a year. And I picked it up at a garage sale and I paid 25 cents for it. Maybe you can tell me something about it other than I know it's a metal lunchbox. But this says 750 minute reader, Cedar Rapids Kernels, the Gazette and Toyota. So it's got some sponsors on there and it's on both sides. And it's a nice little lunchbox. Like I said, I picked it up for 25 cents. I don't know why I picked it up other than I thought maybe it might be a good seller because of this. And if you know Cedar Rapids Kernels, maybe you know that, maybe you're from that area. If you know something about them, let me know, put it down in the comments. And this sold for $11.20. And the buyer has $20 all in on this. The next item is over here in the B1 bin. And it's this right here. This is called Hickey's. Not the kind you put on your neck, but they're, they're shoelaces, elastic shoelaces. Honestly, maybe I'm not with the times or I've just never bought these. I don't know anything about them, but they were pretty good. And I saw these, these were 25 cents at a garage sale. So I went ahead and picked them up and they sell for pretty good money for the most part. These sold for $12.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. So not a bad little purchase for 25 cents. Keep an eye out for these because they will sell. So this was a really good find and a really good sale. I picked it up in the video that you saw about two videos back where I went to a church garage sale and I picked up this Canon PowerShot. This is the 
SX600 HS model. I picked it up for $1.50 and it was in a Sony case. So I took it out of the Sony case and saw this. Had to snatch it right up. Not bad for $1.50 because this sold for $63 plus shipping. So if you can find a Canon Power Shot, especially if it's a red one like this, but a Canon Power Shot, they sell for good money. If you like this kind of content, you like reselling, hit that thumbs up button and let me know. So I had a viewer sale, or should I call it a reseller sale? The reason I'm saying that is the viewer's name is Danny, and Danny bought my last two RK Treasure Center coffee mugs. These are the Series 1 coffee mugs, so it's the last one, so I'm going to have to order some more, which will be Series 2, and we might change up the design a little bit. But Danny, I really appreciate the purchase. The reason I said it's a reseller sale is I met Danny at the Cincinnati Reseller Rally, and he's a really nice, funny guy. Plus, he has his own YouTube channel called Picker Resellers. So go over and check out his channel when you get an opportunity. But I can't let Danny off the hook completely. He also had an auction and I bought something from him. So that's what is in one of these two boxes. So this box right here, I already cut it open, but I haven't pulled it out. So we're going to open it up and I'll show you what it is that I got. And I have no idea what else is in here. Wow, let's see. Let's check this out. <laughs> I got a fleet and a man. That's super cool. Anybody knows who that's from? Commonwealth Picker. So I appreciate the fleet animan. That'll probably go really well and bring me some good luck because that's always a good thing. So I'll set the fleet animan right up here for now. And what else did I get? Some stickers. All right. Danny, that's pretty awesome. I appreciate that. Got some pick a reseller stickers. Those are really nice. Got a great design. It says YouTube in there. So cool. I appreciate it. But this is the auction that I won. So let me open it up real quick and I'll show it to you. Comes in Amber Crombie and Fitch bag. <laughs> Pretty interesting. They're nice, resealable bags. And I'm having a hard time opening it up, so I'm just gonna rip this open. Because I am dying to see what's inside. Even though, like I said, I already know what's inside. It's the Reseller Rally 2021 t-shirt that I went to. And I got all these signatures of all these great resellers. In fact, there's a lot of them that you probably recognize. Who's that right there? Roy and Kim, RK Treasure Center. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of them. Look at that. Just look at all those wonderful signatures. Ready, Set, Resell, Shed Flips, Joe Philly Picker, OBX Picker, Sarah James. Oh, man. I mean, look at all these wonderful people there. Whitney, Be the Village, John, Cincinnati Picker, that's his wife. Picker Reseller, Danny, Curious Picker, Shad Juice, Heart Pickers. I mean... Just these names just go on and on. I mean, there's really, really happy that I got this t-shirt. And I'm really glad I won that auction. I probably upset a lot of people by winning this auction, but sorry, I really wanted the shirt. And that shirt's gonna go right up here on the wall. In fact, I've left this wall undecorated so I can take this shirt, put it up there on that wall, and then I bought these plastic shelving that go this way or this way, so I can put them up here like this, and then that way I can put some items on there, kind of like the fleet and a man or different things, kind of decorate this back here. So that that way, when I'm sitting at this computer right here, I can have a background that's appealing, I guess I should say, or nice to look at instead of just a blank wall. So now I got this other box. This other box that I got came from Mad at Part-Time Pickers. So I appreciate it. But this is something, let's see what this says. There is a little note right here. I hope I can read it. Let me see. We're going to look at Kim and Roy. Thanks for all your support. Looking forward to the next rally, Matt. You bet, Matt. I appreciate it. This is, well, you got two hats. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Part-time Pickers hat. Part-time Pickers hat. Oh, look at this. Part-time Pickers patch. Part-time Pickers stickers. That's awesome. I appreciate it. And, Matt, I hope you're watching. I really appreciate the hat and Matt sent me this one. This must be his next series one or something like that. That's pretty cool. I appreciate it. Man, I really appreciate this patch too. That is so awesome. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very much, Danny. And thank you all very much for watching. Take care, be safe, and be kind to one another.